This is Joe Gillespie with TPG Software. Today we're going to go over a brief background on our repurchase agreement module uh, that's available as part of the trader application. Um, the first screen that you see is uh, just the standard login screen to our application. Uh, once I've logged in, my taskbar has all of the, uh, all of the applications available to us uh, highlighted. I will uh, go into our trading application. And the first step, if I'd like to set up a repo, you'll notice that I have several menu items here. Um, the repo desk is the tool uh, that I will use to manage existing repos, um, add new repos, um, and, and, um, and manage the collateral that I have uh, existing on the repos currently. Uh, so first we'll go into the repo desk. I'll select the repo management. It would then show a list of all of the active repos that I have currently in the portfolio. In this case, I don't have any currently set up, so I will click Add New in the top left. I can then enter my counterparty, so we'll say this is a repurchase agreement with JP Morgan, and I'll select an instrument. Now, the instrument is how we define if the security is a uh, fixed, a fixed rate repurchase agreement, if it's a variable rate, um, and we also define margin uh, margin calls via the instrument and also um, any re reverse repurchases can be um, identified here on an instrument level. The next item that I have are the details behind the trade. We'll go ahead and say that the trade date was 917. We'll say the settlements 918. And now I have the opportunity to enter the number of days for this particular repurchase agreement. If I can enter four You'll notice that my stated maturity updates accordingly, and it knows that this is a four-day repurchase agreement. So now I will enter the total amount. I'll enter 10, and using the double M functionality on tab, it'll pre-populate the uh, $10 million. I could enter um, an index if this floats off of an index. Um, the spread f for the um, for the floating rate, if it's a spread off the index. In this case, I'll enter just a fixed uh, repo rate. Um, I could also um, enter uh, any curves if I'd like to or transfer rates for the repurchase. On the bottom, we have a, a fee field um, as well, so we could attach any fees that are associated with the repo on this form. In the top right of the form, we capture um, the trader that we'd have set up. So in this case, I'll just use a, a, a dummy trader, um, and I will also set up uh, I can capture a sales rep if I had anyone selling this particular repo. The portfolio will ask if uh, the portfolio that the repurchase agreement will be held in as part of um, your security uh, setup. Um, we have a roll frequency. Um, the roll frequency can be defined as uh, we'll roll the repo at, ma at maturity. Um, that way we know to go ahead and create a new repo based off the same characteristics when this repo matures. Um, if we'd like to set up uh, the lo any look back days or a business day convention, uh, we can set this information up as well. Now the look back days will flow through as part of the index that we have. Really the, the last step um, after you have uh, had the chance to review the interest for the period and the total uh, principal and interest for the repo, really the next step that we have in our system is assigning the collateral. Um, the collateral management is one of the strengths of the system but it takes all of the existing transactions in your portfolio, uh, depending on if you, um, if you denote those transactions to be available as collateral. This is where we can assign uh, the transactions as collateral to uh, this repurchase agreement. So I'll just click uh, Assign Collateral. You'll notice I have uh, my inventory available here for pieces that I can collateral, the pieces that I can use for collateral. So in this case, I'll select um, this a Freddie Mac pool. Um, I just highlight the record and I can say uh, where I'd like to change the safekeeping location if I'd like to attach a safekeeping receipt which is just ultimately um, identification that I can use to track this piece of collateral. I can enter my haircut by default we have a two percent haircut you can control the uh, the haircut that we use as a default. The last items here would be the uh, collateral face amount um, so we can say that this thousand and I can enter a dealer price um, and then we calculate a loan value um, and the last step is clicking add to repo so 
Once I've um, entered the parameters for the collateral, I simply select Add to Repo, and I can close out of my collateral selection form, and now I have my repo set up, and I have a list of all of the collateral that's beneath this repo. Uh, one of the items in our system, obviously you can add uh, multiple pieces of collateral um, to a repo, so we can have as many as you know, from, from one piece of collateral out to um, you know, thousands of pieces of collateral if, if the need be. Um, we certainly can accommodate that. Um, after I've set up the, the basic parameters for this transaction, I can save the trade. And now I have the repo set up and built.